Hi, this is Moen from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking an E600H receiver and setting it up as a network rover on an available Wi Fi network. So, to do this here, I'm going to have Field Genius open, and I'm going to head to the right there where it says Reconnect, and I'm going to initialize the Bluetooth connection with my receiver. So, I've already set up an instrument profile with this receiver. If you haven't done that or you don't know how to do that, uh, I have a video there I'm going to link to in the top right corner on how to set up your own instrument profile. And once my Bluetooth connection has been initialized here, you can see that I get a link configure screen. And under device type there, I'm going to want to make sure that Wi-Fi module is selected. So you can see there's a bunch of options from this drop down. You're going to want to make sure that, again, Wi-Fi module is selected. And once I have that selected there, I'm going to go hit press to set up. And you're going to see that I've already connected to an available Wi-Fi um, network in my area. So this is just happens to be the Wi-Fi network of our office here. But you could also use a hotspot off your phone, or some guys have a box that just radiates out a Wi-Fi signal that they can use. So if you don't have any Wi-Fi network there already, you're going to want to hit Wi-Fi search there. You're going to hit press to search, and that's going to search for all available Wi-Fi networks in your area and bring it up in a nice list form that you can choose from. And once that menu pops up here with all your options to choose from, um, you can choose whichever one you want as long as you have the password to connect. So if I click it, it'll prompt me to put in a password. You're going to need to know the password for that Wi-Fi signal, obviously. So since I've already done this, I'm just going to back out of this menu here and hit cancel. So under data source here, I'm going to want to make sure that my network information is properly entered. So in this case, I'm just using a Stormcaster account. And you, if you want to know how to set up Stormcaster, or you want any more information about Stormcaster, I'll include some links to videos down below. Um, or you can just give our team a call and we'd be happy to explain how it works and what it can do for you. And once I've had all my network information correctly entered there, I'm going to hit OK. And this is going to bring me back to the link configure screen, at which point I'm going to hit connect. And this is going to initialize the Wi-Fi connection between my receiver and the Wi-Fi signal. So once that's complete, it's going to prompt me to request a source table or request a mount point um, for my network. So in this case, since I've already requested a mount point previously before this video started, it's prompting me to choose the mount point that's here in our office. If you don't have any mount points to choose from, you're going to hit request source table and then choose the appropriate one for um, wherever you're working. So in this case, I'm just going to choose my Calc 2 one because I've already set it up. So I'll just click that and that'll bring me back to my map screen. And as you can see there, I now have a fix. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, or you have any questions about any of the equipment you've heard about in today's video, or the services such as Stormcaster, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204, or you can visit us online at bench-mark.ca.